This is Daniel Nelson, but Daniel Nelson is best at boxing. A short night. Here we go. Holy field Ruiz to I think Evander Holyfield is going to try and unload at least one or two good shots early to let John Ruiz know this is an all new and improved, brand new, real deal. There's a stiff left jab by Evander Holyfield as he stuffed it effectively. That's a slip. John Ruiz has a tendency to move forward, to lean forward. Nice punches. So at this stage of the fight, they're quite fast, uh, fast moving, and some really decent punches. Nice punch on the side of the head by Holyfield. Some rabbit punches. Holyfield starting to counter now, starting to react, throwing two or three backs to the one. Ruiz already. Watch Ruiz how he leans. So he leans forward with his head. You see that. You notice that Ruiz keeps leaning forward with his head. I think that's a bit of a problem. You can have a head, but you can also you can, you can get set up for an uppercut. You have a head, head, head butting and also to cop an uppercut. Nice punch. He should have followed up. Yep. It's a better round for Holyfield though. He's landed some good counter combinations. John's still taking the fight to him. Effective jab by Ruiz, and then he lands. Oh, nice punches. Almost a low blow. Getting off first. Come on, come on, come on. And then a lot of tugging by Holyfield. As he's holding on to Ruiz. Nice punches again. Although that was blocked by the glove. Ruiz at the bell. Ruiz, as in the first bite, is out working Holyfield. Get it on back, get it on back. Yeah, leaning in, again Ruiz leans forward, leans into the, into the belly of Holyfield, which I think is a bit of a problem to be honest. Uh, punched about behind the back of the head. Yeah, he, oh, he could have caught a, a follow-up punch there. Would, if Ruiz had followed up, he could have caught a uh, knockdown Holyfield, without a doubt. Holyfield lost his balance. Another good punch. Vander's got some very tight punches, There's slightly different styles. Vander's punches are very tight, come up from the body. Some nice punches. It's a double, double. And those shots were blocked by the arms of Ruiz. That's a very good call. They've done a lot of double ups on the on the punches, which is pretty interesting. Things are getting a little dicey now. Kind of like a brawl. Rolling sort of fight, I guess. You and the uh, headbutt to deal with, with blood on the forehead. And that blood could be coming into the eye area, into the eyes, obscuring his vision. Nice, would have been a good punch. So that leaning forward by Ruiz again can be really dangerous, just for my my opinion. You could cop a map. If somebody can throw a decent uppercut with a lot of power. It's winning around five, not even halfway yet. Well, it didn't rattle Ruiz, he copped a, a mask. Hollywood, that was his, definitely his best punch. But again, Ruiz sort of, see, so keeps dropping down into Hollywood's belly. Crouching down. But neither of them is actually doing any damage to that, that, with those punches. <laughs> Leaning forward and possible headbutts. Yeah, he ducks down. That's his style. That's the way he fights. Especially against Holyfield, I think, more than anyone else. He tends to lead right into Holyfield's belly, to his chest. A straight jab, but he missed. He's doing well with the blocking. That was a really hard body punch, and Ruiz blocked with his own. Nice double jab. So the blocking with the gloves, so they're doing pretty well. Ooh, yep. 
actually some decent punches, but they're, they're kind of a good matchup these two fighters, actually, when you think about it. But it makes for an interesting fight. Yeah, nice punch. That last punch was good. Yeah, a bit of a late flurry. He was actually losing this ring. Uh, Ruiz. Oh, nice punch. Oh, that grabbed the back of the head. I think Lennox Lewis has a really bad habit of doing that. He holds his opponent on the, behind the back of the net head and throws punches. Watch, watch Lennox Lewis's fights. He definitely done that. He done it to Tyson, I think. He grabs the fighter around the back of the head and loads punches up. Pretty wild punches. Again, leaning down with a head. So there's a high probability of a headbutt or getting copping a, a massive uppercut. Probably landed his best punch of the fight. That left hook right in the forehead, and you see John's leg just right in there. He went down a bit. You couldn't see it. Held on for dear life. Nice right hand by Holden. Another good punch that left. Oh, good, that was a nice punch. The uppercut was good. He got through Hollyfield's defense. He needs Look at the movement of the legs. Whether the punches start to slow down, whether they drop their defense. Both, they've both been doing that throughout the fight, to be honest. After the first couple of rounds. Styles makes fight. A st different styles make the fight. That's how. It, that's just my opinion. That was a. I think that was a low blow. I'm not too sure, to be honest. Because they have the, yeah, they have their trunks up pretty high. It's up to the belly button. That was definitely low. I think it was two actually. Two low blows, one after the other. Oh, nice punch. Nice punch. He's just diving into Holyfield and holding on now. He's not fighting. And that's detrimental in the scoring. It's a good matchup. Two slightly different styles. Oh, no. No, I think that was a punch. I'm pretty sure that was a punch. I couldn't see a head. He didn't dig, uh, dig down with his head like he normally does. Have a, we'll have a look later. I'm pretty sure that was a, a clean punch. Oh, come on. This is desperation by Holyfield. Seriously. Lewis did this again as well in one of his fights. I saw him tackle his opponent. So again, I'm just bringing that in about Lennox Lewis. He's a great fighter, but he, he, whatever it takes, that's, how, that's what boxing is about. Or any combat sport. Any contact sport. Could have opened that cut up, Hollyfield's cut, the one on the, I think it was on the left eye. He, that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to hit that cut, I think. He can open it up a little bit more if it's above the eye. Hollyfield just, he just like rubber. He should be aiming for that cut. Most fighters, the first thing they do when a, a fighter gets a cut above the eye, if it's above the eye, they aim for the cut. Once that cut opens up, the ref will stop the fight. They've got no choice. If they lose their vision, that's it. Under the eye, it's different. Oh, come on. He's aiming for the cut. He hasn't got enough power to knock him out. So, oh, mm. He stepped away away from an uppercut. Interesting, he's hit the cut a few times, but <laughs> I just know what's going on there. 
slamming each other. I thought I saw a head. If not, no, that's nope, a punch. A right His head hand. coming after the punch. Oh, oh nice. And that second punch, had that second punch. The wild swing had that it connected after the first one. Not that one, that's the first one. If this one had connected, that would have been it. From the side, probably with a little bit more uh, pepper, pepper on, a little bit more power, it would have cleaned Holly for that. That's how a lot of times people get knocked out, is the punch while they, they get hit while they're going down. And that just sort of, same way Ruiz got beaten by David Tua, the New Zealand fighter. He got whacked when he was going down and was falling. You just can't really. Yeah. Not much on the punches. This is good punches, actually. For, I mean, as I say, stars make fights, and we can't we can't expect any more. Then, you know, you got two guys in there. The styles are slightly different, but they, it makes for a decent fight. Unless you want to see someone go in and get, get knocked out within the first, you know, 20 seconds of the round, our uh, first round. It was a decent sort of fight. It's not just this is not just from the, the knockdown. It's but he sort of dominated most of the fight, but he, he slackened off a bit. But for a lot of the fight, Ruiz was on the attack and Holyfield was on the defense. Holyfield might have dominated on the inside. Ladies and gentlemen, after most 12 of the rounds of action, the judges are in agreement. We have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Patricia Jarman Manning, scores about 114 to 111. Judge Chuck Jumpa scores about 115 to 111. Mm, that's Judge a margin. Stanley Christodoulou sees about 116 to 110. That's a big margin. In favor of the winner. 16 to 10. Yes, that makes up for the first one. The first one, I'm pretty sure John Rose was robbed, but that's debatable. Good on you. So this is Daniel Nelson for Daniel Nelson's Best of Boxing. Subscribe, like and share. Hit that notification bell on the top right hand corner of your screen for more boxing action. And great to see you all here. Bye for now.